Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing some Europeaners Hellas 4 Conquest of Paradise. Don't you love the new world? With Portugal's super colony, and yes, this is one province, this island here. This Montserrat is just an amazingly long island. And then we have a pretty long island up here, too. Pokem took. Oh, is this an actual colony of its own? Oh, yeah, I didn't know this little island is its own little colony. I thought it was part of Connecticut. Apparently, it's not part of Connecticut. Good to know. Is it in the same region? Yeah, it's in the same region. Okay. Anywho, we were looking at uh, ways that we can get to war with Castile, and I think the easiest way is just to finish this damn colony and um, colonize right next to it because we'll have colonialism cause its belly on them. So, yeah, let me take one little dude, one little ship, uh, pick up a douche. Can I have a douche? I would like a douche. Don't need much, just one douche. And we're gonna go to the new world. Try not to die on the way. He might die on the way. Who knows? Kill the rebels, damn it. Stupid rebels. Oh my god, a 464 in Naples. You guys are fucking just too badass. Just ridiculously badass. And uh, let's go ahead and build a dude. Build a dude. A gallo glay, if you will. To replace the dude that I sent to the new world. We do have a free diplomat. Who needs hugs? Anyone? Anyone want hugs? Anyone? No. 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 Everyone's good. Uh, Scotland. Yeah, go into Scotland. Why not? Why not? Yeah, we've had so many problems here. There's like a billion aggressiveness here, that's why. So let's drop off a dude, and then it'll be fine. Uh, might as well keep this guy here, then we can at least use him. Yeah, we can ferry a uh, troop over to that island at some point. At some point. Normal winter. So long as these colonies don't go too fast. Man, that one's going pretty quick. So long as they, they don't go too fast, we should be able to get there in time to get a war. Oh look, our soldier actually helped. We defended our colony. We're the best. I wonder, I wonder what the colonists think when we don't defend the colony, you know? <laughs> oh, 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 Protestantism. I saw that. I s oh man, oh man. Totemism. Protestants have come. The Protestants have come. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. Becky. No one ever says that anymore. In fact, I can't remember the last time I heard Rebecca called anything other than Rebecca. <laughs> it's been a long time, my goodness. Alright, finish that core and then we'll hit a stability point. Because we're at negative two, that's a dangerous area. Oh, stop stealing my cardinal, damn it. He's mine, and I'm going to keep him mine. Okay, let's get a stability up. What do we got? 114, alright. It's expensive. England is now Protestant. Wow. We might go Protestant as well. It's very possible. Alright, colony almost done. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, sure, we'll go to Sweden or something. Sweden or something? Relations go. And time to bulb another military idea. Ooh, recover army morale plus 5%. All right. And then I think we'll hold off on the ideas. We'll get the next tech. Uh, no, we're still five years ahead. So, I don't know, maybe not. We got way too far ahead on our military points. Oh, my God. Okay, England. Yeah, they still have two allies. All right.
And our colony is done. Yay! All right, can move on. Can move on. Just walk right in there. Walk like an Egyptian or whatever you're going to do. And yeah, these are still colonies. Good. Well, this is the year we declare war. So as soon as that colonist arrives, oh, this is going to be great. Castile has a whopping one ally. Oh, man. France is going to tear him a new one. France has 57, 65,000 troops and some about, what, five, maybe 15,000 uh, vassal troops? I mean, you're looking at 70,000 guys. What does Castile have? In real numbers here. man. Well, they have the scariest fleet on the planet, but what do they have as far as troops? Castile? 36,000. Yeah, France is going to fucking destroy them. Oh, I love this. Oh. Oh, I can't wait. England has religious civil disorder. Catholic zealots. Oh, I hope you enjoy that, England. You know. I mean, at this point, we could declare war on England again, but actually, you know what? That would be a good time to declare war on England. While we're at war with Castile, Portugal will join us in that war, and that means Portugal can't defend England, so we should probably be attacking England at the same time. Man, that's just so mean, though. It's just so... Oh, man. 200 ducats or 10 years of better trade efficiency. Uh, trade efficiency. So we'd be at 35% for 10 years. Or just take 200 ducats. Uh, uh, oh, man. that's. I'll take the trade efficiency. My God, though. Really? Someone had a 0, zero, zero king? I saw that. Who was that with the 0, zero, zero? You, a new sultan in the Mamluks. Oh man, the Mamluks. No. Oh, oh man. Zero, zero, zero. Ouch. Just ouch, Mamluks. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you can stop with the relations now. Naples broke their alliance with England. Oh, even better. So England will have no allies when we declare war. I love it. Okay, so five days we can declare this war. Come on, where's my CB? Oh, do I have to get some more ideas first? No, I don't think so. Where's my colonialism CB, damn it? Do I have to wait to the end of the month? Where's my colonialism CB? There it is. Alright, so he has one ally. France and Portugal. Oh, wait, Portugal won't do it. Why not? What the hell? You're not allied with them. Damn it, Portugal. Oh, whatever. Just declare war. Alright, so France is... Well, let me slow down time here. It says Portugal won't. Why? Oh, it would destabilize because of the marriage and you're in debt. Oh, you're such a pussy, Portugal. I'm in debt. Oh, I'm married with them. Ugh. Oh. Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. You're ruining my plans here. I wanted to go to war with England at the same time. I guess we still can, but I don't want to go to war with you. I want you to help me. Okay, 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 okay. So it's everyone... It's pretty much Europe versus Castile. I like this. I can handle this. Europe versus Castile. Now we're going to need military points to steal colonies. And once we steal colonies, we're going to need money to supply the colonies. Colonies are not cheap. Uh, the first colony is 2.2 ducats. The next one will be like 5 ducats. The next one will be like 10 ducats. I mean, it's going to be very, very expensive. So what can we do? We can take some war taxes, but then again, that costs military points as well. So we're going to have to save up some military points here.
All right, get me some claims on England, please. Claims on England. Claims on England. Get me Essex. Claims on England. Claims on England. Get me Essex. All right, just go stand on their colonies like a boss. And then you can come right home. I just want Castile to know that we mean business. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't gone anywhere beyond that. Okay, good. They might even be his first two colonies, for all I know. I don't know. Ah, oh. colony damaged. Damage, 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 damage. Well, you know what? Let's steal. Should I steal salt? We're gonna have to stand. No, let's just steal Connecticut. It's right here in the middle. Um, done. Mine. Send the colonist. So we'll just colonize Connecticut then. Stupid. Right before our soldier got back. Right before he got back. Oh, we can get our stability up. Um, yeah, get the stability up. Why not? So yeah, I hope. I wish Portugal would have joined. I really wish Portugal would have joined. All right, we're attacking Castile's navy down here, which could be good or bad. It depends where the rest of their navy is. Uh, we at least have an admiral. But he is bringing more dudes up, and if we need to get out of here quick. Come on. Okay, we won. Now go dock up. Because <laughs> that was brutal. Good. We got out of there. Good. Yeah, there's the 38th fleet. Ha <laughs> ha. Stay away from me, bro. Stay away from me, bro. Homie, don't play. Thanks for the colony, by the way. I appreciate it. As soon as our dude arrives, it should switch from Castilian to Breton. I think. Actually, I don't know. There may be a delay. I simply I don't know. So England lost one of their allies. That's kind of cool. Wait, France is losing? Oh, France is over here. Why? Why are you over here? Go fight the battles. Oh my god, what are you doing? Go fight the battles. He's outnumbered two to one and he's just chilling over here in French Comte for some reason. I don't know. I can't explain that. <laughs> Let me recruit another dude over here. What's our limit? Oh, we're way under the limit. Recruit two dudes. And we'll just put one on each colony. Let's see, protect against Hungary, colonize Kennebec. Oh, I would love to, but we're kind of busy. Claim Lincoln. I would love to do that too. Our army is under attack. Oh no, not a thousand natives. No. Oh, 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 we might survive. We might survive. We totally survived because we're badass. That's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, the army is just kind of chilling up here. Are we at war with you guys? No, not at war with them at all. So why are you just standing there? Very weird. Very weird. Oh well, we still have cores coming in. We're still annexing our vassal, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's all good. It's just a little weird, that's all. And, yep. Culture shift to Breton. Very nice. Very nice indeed.
There we go. They're finally coming forward. All right. Nice. Although Castile does have 37,000 motherfuckers here. That's a big army. Okay, we got a claim on Essex. Very nice. Let's get some more claims. Let's see what's good around here. Base 4, base 5, base 3, base 5. Let's go for Lincoln and Marches. Do we have a mission for Lincoln? Yeah, let's go for Lincoln. Let's go for Lincoln. Do, 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 do. Excellent. Uh, battle's not going that great, actually. Yeah, I think France is going to lose that one. Damn it, France. Look at this. He's got 15 guys over here. And instead of helping a battle where, you know, 15 guys would make a huge difference. No, no, no. He's got 22 guys up here in Co. Just like, hey, I'm not getting involved. And then he's down here losing a huge battle. And he's sieging at the same time. What the fuck? What are you doing? Oh, look, you lost the battle. Big surprise. I'm totally surprised by that. Totally, you know, just like, whoa. Didn't expect that at all. Oh, Castile went for the island. Lol. Interesting. Tiny little island. Hmm. Yeah, that colony's kind of expensive. Group up. Go to salt. Go steal that one. Not sure why France is doing what they're doing, but whatever. All right, looks like there's another chance for you to redeem yourself here, France. Look, you could go help Austria, or you could not. It looks like you're not gonna help. You're just the best, France. He's like, I don't care about Austria. <laughs> he just doesn't care. All right, we got all of our cores in, so that's nice. And English is fully accepted, so we should get nice taxes out of this area. That's good. Let me get one more dude. There's 50,000 guys here just trying to fight this stack, but they have to actually catch it. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe. I believe. Okay, Portugal has maxed out their relations with us. That's good. All right, is he trapped now? Is he trapped? I think he's trapped. There you go. There's the battle. Negative one is the only penalty. This should be a cakewalk at this point. And yeah, that is Castile's 40,000 dudes. They've just been whittled down to 19, 18. That's 40,000 guys right there. They're just getting trashed. Nice. There you go. That was only 4%. That's only 4% war score? Wow. Brutal. All right, let me do war taxes and then as soon as we have enough points we can seize that colony and the war taxes eh, will sort of kind of hold off the cost of the extra colony sort of for a while at least Cities demand old rights. Lose stability or lose legitimacy. Ah, oh, crap. I can't lose legitimacy right now. Goodbye, stability. God, I hate that so much. Oh, brutal. Looks like France is eager to attack with 10,000 less dudes. He is bringing backup, but that backup's a long way behind. I don't know if that's going to be effective. Maybe. 
Maybe, baby. No, I think you're too far behind. Yeah, you lost. Lol. Lol, lol, lol. Oh, but he's gonna be aggressive. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. He's like, I'll lose the battle, but I'll win the war. That's what he said. That Frenchie, that sly Frenchie. Oh man, England with the rebels. Holy shit. I need more claims. <laughs> I need more claims. All right, we got our claim on Lincoln. Let's get some more. Let's go for marches. And we got a mission for that, or we finished a mission for that. Take Lincoln, paper controller. Yeah, nothing good. All right. Please to be mission, or please to be claim on marches. Oh man, look how many things we can claim. We can even claim Yorkshire. Oh, I would love to claim Yorkshire, but... Well, why not? If we only take three provinces, those three would be pretty good. It's a base seven, a base five, and a base eight. You know what? Let's do that. Let's claim Yorkshire. Why not? Make a weird little shape all over England. Take that, England, you lazy, lazy, lazy bastard. I'm going to do one thing here. I'm going to get my boats. Please don't attack me. Oh my god, he almost attacked me. That was close. I'm going to get my boots over here so we can start ferrying troops over to France. Because even if France pieces out, I assume France will piece out at some point. Even if France pieces out, I want to be able to siege up um, Castile. So I need my boats ready to bring troops over. Uh, I'm hoping France won't piece out too early. But they might. Yeah, Austria's in this war on our side as well. That's kind of nice. Oh, Castile's colonizing down here now. Okay. Come on, kill their stack. That is a huge stack, it must die. France is just so casual about their invasions. They're even holding they're even holding 30 40,000 guys back just for lulls. And yeah, France has rebels that they're ignoring, Burgundian nationalists. That's very amusing. I like that. That's kind of cool. And there's Protestant zealots in France as well. Huh. Oh, no, he's killing the rebels. Never mind, he's killing the rebels. Never you mind, he's killing the rebels. Death of a cardinal. God damn it, the only guy we invested in, the only guy we invested in was the guy that died. <laughs> of course. Of course. Round a dispute on France. Oh, I don't want to claim on Anjou, but I'll take it. It's better than losing stability. The only other option is lose stability, so I'd rather not lose the stability. Sorry, France. Don't hate me. Don't hate me, France. Yeah, the religious stuff is really heating up. I mean, it may not look like it, but all these little provinces, that is a lot of Protestantism spreading. Spreading relatively quickly, too. Oh, man, the penalty. Ouch. But that'll go away in about 10 years, yeah. Castile wants peace. Uh, no. As much as I like your money, that's just not going to cut it, bro. Bro? I want your army dead.
I like what France is doing. It's interesting watching the AI do this. He sends in an army about the same size as the enemy army. He knows he's not going to win the battle because the enemy has defensive bonus. And then when the battle's over and he loses, he sends in another army and he just crushed it. He just crushed it because the morale on the army was so low after the first battle that he just crushed it. Man, that is such an interesting tactic. I like that. All right, we almost have our third claim. I'll just declare war when we have our claims. I assume France wants to join me? Yeah? Come on, France, it'll be a party. All right, who wants to join me in a war against England? France and Austria. It's going to be a party. And uh, let's see... Uh, I'll say Essex is the target. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's move our dudes over to Oxfordshire. We can just go... Oh, let's go to London. No, let's kill the army. We'll go to Oxfordshire. We'll just go up there and smash the army. You know what? Let's get a stability up while we're here. Nice and cheap. Go for um, Essex, yeah. All right, let's have a party. And you're already called in, right? Yeah, he's already called in. All right, come on, Austria. Join me, baby. Austria's in. France is in. Very good. Hey, Poland, you want in? He's like, nah. He's a little far away from my wars. I guess I understand, but still. Portugal is the colonial overlord of Carib Caribas. I guess that's the Caribbean. I don't even know what that is. But, okay. <laughs> oh, and it says... Oh, offer alliance. Right. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Kill the army. Make them dead. There you go. And I think I should kill the religious rebels, just get them off the map. Much as I don't want to, I think it's worth doing. Apparently I cannot fight them. Oh, yes we can. That was weird, it wouldn't let me fight them. Okay, follow him and then go to London. Alright, he's going to London as well. That's fine. Border friction on France. Nope, I'm not going to do it. Don't need to piss off France. Okay. So step one is drop off three dudes. I'm going to do two cannons and a soldier. Everyone else go this way. I'm leaving the cannons because the cannons are slow. Mali is starting to westernize. Go, Mali. Gotcha, bitch. Can we afford mercenaries? I would love to see good mercenaries. 2.9. How much is each merc? 0.5. Yeah, we can, but they're really old units. My god. Uh, nah, it's okay. Alright, um, give me uh, the cav and the soldier. Go to Essex. I need that one siege now. That's the target problems. You know what? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time where we will uh, finish up our wars with Castile and England. I'll see you then. Have a good day.